What's up, good people? I'm here on my day off, and guess what I got, y'all? I got some Del Taco up in this piece. What you know about that there? Huh? I just got two tacos, and I'm going to try these um, cheesecake bites. The little fried bites, I understand. So, um, we're going to see how that go. Man, I asked for two, and they gave me four. Oh, no, that is two. It's just different than what I expected. These tacos feel so big, y'all. I have been working like crazy. Like crazy and been tired. And I said crunchy. These ain't crunchy. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. I, oh, it is crunchy, but it's wrapped in a flower shell. Where do they do that at? It's a lot of meat in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat too. Gosh, look at this. Y'all can't see it because it's just... Look at huge I have lost over 10 pounds and I'm so excited but I don't eat that much no more my stomach gets so full fast and y'all let me tell y'all what I ate yesterday some good old-fashioned home-cooked gumbo my brother made oh my god that stuff was amazing you understand what I'm saying guys it was amazing oh y'all and I got the hot sauce the Dell hot sauce my first time trying it so we're gonna see how it go I'm just gonna go right in because I'm just gonna go right in. This soft shell is sticking to my wrapper though. That's irritating. It's queso. It's the queso crunchy taco from Del Taco that I got. And I'm in Arizona. I'm not sure if Del Taco is where you are. But look at this. Like this thing is packed. Like I should have just got one, but I didn't know all this crap was gonna be in there. It's like stuff. Here goes nothing. Okay. I thought this was gonna be better than Taco Bell, but it's just okay. It's way more, way more meat and stuff in here compared to Taco Bell, but it's nothing spectacular. It's good though. I mean, sorry. Right. Would I get it again? Yeah, if I wanted a quick fix to tacos. But I definitely wouldn't buy two. I'll just get one. Um, I would just get the regular crunchy chef taco. I don't have to have all this. Oh, that hot sauce got a kick, baby. And I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. Mm. So, I got out the house today because, let me tell you something. I usually always, always, always go to the dealership for my work. I got a Nissan Sentra. Mm. They always taking care of me. They've always taken care of me. Never had no complaint. Well, I moved from Michigan to Arizona. I kept losing pressure in my passenger um, side tire, and so I went to Walmart because it was quick. It was close. I ended up needing a new tire, which I bought. Uh, I'm full. My center light came on ever since I got the tire. I took it back to Walmart, had them check my tires, everything was good. But my sensor light wouldn't go off and they couldn't fix it. So that's why I found a dealership, Nissan dealership today. Took it there for them to fix it. So there's two Nissan dealerships in the area where I live. And I looked at the reviews, so I picked the one based off of the reviews I went to. And it's on 22nd Street in Tucson. And so I went there. They got me right in. I didn't have an appointment. I just rolled up, pulled up on my skirt. 
got me in the guy was nice like I'm gonna do a good review uh-huh checked it out came and told me that the center was broke well the first time he came out he was like um they couldn't find the sensor and he said um if they're gonna take the tire off and if it's in the tire they will try to see if they can cover it under warranty they'll no normally have it take it back to the place that messed it up but since it's walmart he knew they couldn't fix it if the sensor wasn't in the tire then i was gonna come out of pocket like close to 250 dollars right huh took it he took the tire off the sensor was in there so he comes back to me tells me that the sensor was in a tire the sensor is broke because when they put the tire back on they screwed it too tight so the cap that was supposed to be attached to the sensor was missing or whatever and so he was like he was gonna try to get it under warranty da 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 he'll be back well about 15 minutes later he come back say you all set so I'm like cause when I told when he told me about the $200 before he came back the last time I was like well if it's $200 I'm not gonna get it done right now cause I wasn't planning on spending that right now so when he came back he said everything good to go so I looked on the sheet and he made it he said he made it covered under warranty but if it was under warranty it's gonna be under warranty but anyways um i was treated real good so definitely will be back and was grateful you know no attitudes or nothing like that but i'm gonna continue going to the dealership for my stuff and not like walmart and i'm gonna call walmart and let them know that they messed my sensor up sometimes it's okay like to do that stuff but i'm gonna for me i'm gonna stick to the dealership now this is a cheese supposed to be cheese um cake filled and it's fried shell so i'm almost looking like an egg roll wrapper oh my mm. it's almost like like a caramel leaf yeah something in there not bad not bad at all I ain't even on a drink though cuz I'm thirsty thirsty than the mug but yeah I'm Walmart and I'm gonna get my business like I had a van that, that I used to get my tires and stuff done there at Walmart and the same thing happened but they Nissan could never fix my sensor because it was broke and so I'm not going to fool with Walmart well I'm going to try not to like the tire I got like lifetime warranty so hopefully my tire won't get messed up Mm -mm, I can't eat it. It's too big. I know my limitations, honey. But I am going to eat this other thing. Like, I am full, y'all. I got some more weight to lose. I think work is a big thing. Um, and I was stressing too, so. Which not good, but. It is what it is. Looking forward to this weekend coming up, though. Well, I work Friday and Saturday, but I'm off Sunday. Just gonna kick it in the Phoenix area for a little bit. Um, I'm always adjusting myself in the seat, y'all. Whatever, it's my thing. <laughs> um, Sunday and Monday. So it's gonna be fun. Just gonna explore Arizona on my days off and 
have some fun, yo. Mm, I think you can see the caramel in there. These are good. If I just come back for these, I'm glad I didn't get four because this one, one would have been perfect. But I'm gonna eat this. I'm so full. It's so beautiful here. It's um 77 degrees. The high today was 79, but it's like perfect weather. This their fall weather, but it's perfect to me. I love it. Some people be wearing jackets and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, honey, y'all can handle Michigan. But there's some people that I've came across at work that's from um, Michigan. Um, the guy that helped me. At Nissan, he's from Ohio, so he understands the weather and stuff like that. <sighs> That's it, y'all. I'm full. I ain't eating nothing else. I ain't got nothing else to say. I don't even know when I'm going to do another video. I'm not going to promise y'all like I'm going to do it once a week because I haven't been doing it. When I get a chance, that's when I do it. Love y'all be blessed. Keep your head up. You already know what your shoes look like by head, keeping your head down. So hold your head up high. It's your girl, Dee Dee, the chosen one. I love you. Bye.